That's right. More at the top of the hour. Thank you very much, Carly. Meanwhile, critics in the media spent much of the last year smearing Georgia's election reform laws. This is the end of democracy in America. This is the beginning of the South, the South Africa strategy. <laughs> it's, it's old school American. It's Jim Crow American. It's very much uh, sort of reminiscent of Jim Crow era tactics that are designed to have a chilling effect on participation. This is a party that does not like um, the browning of America. This is a party that is cheating at the polls. This is the GOP strategy. If you can't beat the Democratic candidates, block their voters. Block their voters. Well, that narrative now been debunked already. Georgia's early voting numbers already shattering the record set during the 2020 presidential race. Outkick founder Clay Travis joins us right now. So, you know what, uh, Clay, if they were trying to suppress the vote, they're doing a really bad job. Yeah, they're doing a really bad job, and the uh, fake governor of Georgia, Stacey Abrams, who has refused to concede after losing by 50,000 votes in 2018, I'm actually curious, Steve, how bad she going to have to get beaten in 2022 to be willing to concede because Governor Brian Kemp is going to win, I believe, uh, re-election in a commanding fashion. And I also think Herschel Walker is going to beat the Reverend Raphael Warnock, and both of those wins are going to be to record turnout. And it's not just early voting, Steve. Also in the primary season, they shattered records in Georgia. And here's what should happen. Joe Biden, Stacey Abrams, Rob Manfred, Major League Baseball Commissioner, who I'll get to in a second. All of these people who bought into the lie of Jim Crow 2.0, as well as all those media figures you just showed, should come out and say, you know what? We were wrong. We apologize to the people of Georgia. It's clear that there has actually been an increase in voting. This was not designed to stamp down on turnout. Right. And we got this 100% wrong. And Steve, I mentioned, because I know you paid attention to this as well, the Atlanta Braves lost their all-star game where yeah. they were going to honor Hank Aaron last year. This was going to be a seminal moment for all Georgia area sports fans, for all Major League Baseball fans, certainly for many different Atlanta area residents. Instead, Stacey Abrams and Joe Biden sold the lie that what Georgia was doing was racist and unacceptable, and that idiot Rob Manfred, Major League Baseball's commissioner, made the decision to buy their lies and took away the All-Star game from the Atlanta Braves. The day after this election, I mean this honestly, Rob Manfred should have to go out in front of the media and announce that the Atlanta Braves will be getting the All-Star game back, that he was wrong, that he made a poor decision, and as a result, that the game will return to Atlanta. And then Brian Kemp and Herschel Walker, who are both going to be winning big statewide elections, can join him and applaud, finally, a rectification of this absurdity. That would be an epic announcement. I'll bet you a dollar he doesn't do it. <laughs> I unfortunately will not bet you a dollar, Steve, because I think I Times would lose. Let me say this, by the way. Quick. I know you don't get – I'm a dad of three. Yeah. I just have to say. Me too. Your son is absolutely killing it every single day in the White House. And I know sometimes it's tough, but, man, you should be so proud. We are very proud of all of our kids. And uh, just America is watching Peter, so he gets the credit. Uh, and he has my no wife's doubt. hair, just saying. All right, Clay, thank you very much for joining us live today. Thank you, Steve. Y'all have a good day. All right, check out his website, outkick.com.